MJ Stavala with us here on the John Mandola Show. MJ, you and I have talked in the past. Yep. Uh, we're hatless this year. The hair's yeah. looking good. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about your, your season out there on the course. How'd you play? Um, I played really well this year. I um, I played I played really good in all the all the tournaments and um, just overall had a great season. Not many uh, elders on this team. You're the guy. Yeah. Uh, so talk a little bit about uh, trying to be a good leader, coach up some of these right. younger guys. Right. You know, kids have prepped. They're pretty mm -hmm. mature, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, um, for some teams it would be hard just to have one senior, um, but for us it, it really didn't matter that much because um, all the boys, I mean, we're all at the same playing field and um, all at the same level of maturity too, so it worked really well. Um, it's, it's not like, it's not like um, a hierarchy, I'm not above any of them, you know, I mean, we're, we're all at the same and we all just work together as a team. You're going to stay local, University of Scranton, yeah. great school. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about the, the choices, what you had in the mix, right. and why you said, hey, you know what, mm -hmm. we're going to the University of Scranton because they have this. Right, so I, um, well, of course, like, last year I began my college search and, like, thinking about all oh, playing golf, I really wanted to play golf. Um, but over over time, I realized that school is obviously more important than golf is, and um, I... I definitely think that the University of Scranton is going to be my best option, um, especially because I want to go into the sciences. And um, they have a great team there, which I'm going to be part of, and their coach is amazing. Um, he's a great guy. And I'm really excited to play with them next year. You talk about uh, the ability to manage your studies and do your golf mm -hmm. thing and right. have fun with your family and your friends. Right. Um, you kind of have done done that job. So uh, yeah. talk about those important people in your world that you like hanging out with. Right. Um, so it may seem a little weird, but it's actually easier to manage your time and your studies when you're in season because everything is so routine. You know, like you you go to school, play golf after school, homework, relax, and then go to bed, and it just repeats every single day because. I mean, even if we don't have a team practice, we're all still out there playing, whether it's together or on our home courses. I mean, we're all trying to get better every single day during that season. Um, and golf is just one of those sports that like, you can't you can't just say, oh, like, I don't want to play this week. I mean, you have to stay with it every single day, and that's that's huge. Um, that's what's nice when you go from 15 right. minutes of relax time to maybe an hour, huh? Right, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, a little less homework one night, it really, really helps a lot. When it comes to the, the game of golf and, and taking it seriously, what are you, being a student of the game, what are you working on constantly? You know, driving, chipping, putting, right. are you doing it all? Right. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you're always, you're always working through the bag, you know, like putter all the way up to driver, putter, putter all the way up to driver. Um, and you just got to see what's going. I mean, obviously one week, like your driver might not be going great, but you might be putting great. You know, it's, it's just, it, it, nothing's ever, you know, I mean, nothing's ever perfect all the time. So it's just one of those things that you have to adapt to. You know what I mean, um, if your if your drives are a little off, then you just gotta get better iron shots, chip and cut, and just get it back. You know, you and I have a routine. We talked a year ago. Now right. here we are, one year later. Right. Pleasure to talk to you again, MJ. Thank you. Thank you so much.